Danny Stevenson for Severe MMA, standing alongside a victorious Max Lally here at Cage Legacy 18. You've just won the Cage Legacy lightweight amateur title. How does it feel? First round submission? Ah, yeah, it feels great. Like just being out all year and just being able to come back and not not even get the quick finish, but just do what I love. Like you know what I mean? Just the walk out, everyone there support me. You know what I mean? It just makes me want to do better every day. You know what I mean? For moments like that, that that's what I that's what I do this for. You know? Yeah. How was it in the lead? Up, you know, as you said, you've been out. You've had a shoulder injury. Probably the the longest you've been been out of training and, and fighting. Was there any nerves or anything like that coming in? Did you feel the pressure? Honestly, I got a bit nervous about six five weeks out. Usually when I take a fight, initially at the start I get nervous, but three weeks out I just get and look forward to it. Like they, I look forward to going out there and fighting. You know what I mean? I feel like I genuinely feel like I'm born to do it. And uh, just the excitement, the goosebumps, everything. I just want to step in there. Just feel like it's me home. Like, you know. Man, so familiar with it, and I have to thank the opponent there, Jared, for taking the fight because the fight not, not a whole lot of people wanted to take it. Like, you know, what I mean, and it was either he took it or I wouldn't have had an opponent to fight tonight, you know, what I mean. So, I'm really appreciative of that as well. Yeah, we had you on the L Triangle and we talked about this. Um, there seems to be a hesitancy for some fighters to take fights, uh, to take the hard fights at amateur. Are you finding that a lot lately? Yeah, listen, I think it's more so a thing of people who are taking fights on different shows. I don't want to like jump the gun and say, yeah. Uh, people are scared of me or whatever like that but just anyone at lightweight or featherweight that wants to fight me let's do it like you know what I mean because it's just it's coming to the case now where it's like I don't care about wins losses nothing like that I care about cage time yeah. this this amateur career is going to structure my pro career and I need to be in that cage as much as possible more minutes the better you know and that's my mindset How did you feel when you were in the cage? I felt very uh, relaxed more relaxed than usual I kind of was talking to Collie Sergey and all and we took a kind of different approach to this camp and was just more enjoying it you know what I mean enjoying being in there you know and uh, enjoying the train and everything like that and it really did make a difference I felt a lot more comfortable in the striking and the plan was initially to stand up and if he shot in and engaged the grappling I'd just do me thing you know and that's what happened yeah, you got the fight to the match fairly quickly in the end you know walk us through the submission yeah I just felt him just going very uh, deep on a double leg and his neck was exposed and just from doing jiu jitsu so long I'm 19 but I've been doing jiu-jitsu 10 years, you know, um, poor belt under legit coach and own, you know, so when it was, as soon as I felt him pop his neck up that I had the guillotine, you know, and it's, if you take me down, if I sacrifice to go onto the mat, it's, it's not for, not for no reason, you know what I mean, I know I have something up my sleeve, so yeah, it was nice to get it. Walk us through the hair choice. The hair choice, listen, I just want to be like me bro, uh, Conor McCarthy, yeah, <laughs> but uh, nah, just something a bit different, it was the whole point behind that I'm really born, you know what I mean? We come back from something that was very difficult to get over and I got over it, you know, so I thought I'd spice things up a little bit. And so you're heading off, when are you heading off to Thailand? I'm heading off to Thailand 21st of December and there to the 5th of February, so I'll just go over there, train every day, enjoy myself. And so you're saying in the cage uh, a snack box or a 3 and one or something's next, is it? Oh yeah, egg fried rice, bleeding beef chow mein, bleeding spice bag, the whole lot. Which Chinese now did you get this from? Oh, how you want of English, yeah. That's the <laughs> <laughs> you go, there's the fucking that's thing. The order, so that's the, that's the order. It's, it's the chow mein, it's the spice bag. Get the, get the whole lock back to the gas, fix a plate, and bleed and get stuck in. And then tomorrow, just be back on it, you know what I mean? But, well, enjoy, enjoy the night, enjoy the Chinese, and well, congratulations. Man, appreciate it. Thank you, yeah.